a demonstration to show the effects of magnetic induction on different non-magnetic rings. This is an electromagnet with an iron core. First, let's create an electromagnet from the setup you see here. When the red switch is turned on, alternating current passes through the coil, turning the coil into an electromagnet. We will demonstrate how different types of rings respond to this electromagnet due to magnetic induction. A non-magnetic metal ring is placed on top of the coil. What happens when the alternating current is turned on? The changing magnetic field of the coil induces a changing current flow in the ring. The changing current set up a changing magnetic field which interacts with the coil's changing magnetic field such that a net repulsion causes the ring to jump. What if we replace the ring with one made of the same material but with many holes in it? This ring has less mass so it should move up higher when we turn on the switch. However, the ring does not. In fact, the height it rises to is lower than the height of the previous ring. Due to the net smaller cross-sectional area of this ring, it has greater resistance to the current flowing through it. In this way, a weaker changing current set up a weaker changing magnetic field, which interacts less with the coil's changing magnetic field. Now let's try the experiment with another ring. But now we cut a slit in one side of the ring. What happens when the current is turned on? The ring with the slit does not move at all. Why is this so? This is because no induced current can flow through the ring due to the opening in the ring, just like in an open circuit.